Some encouraging news for economic freedom and sanity is coming from, of all places, Argentina. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Argentina has long been notorious for rotten economic policies, mainly high taxes, crushing regulations, and most infamously, chronic bouts of hyperinflation. A century ago, the country was one of the richest, fastest growing in the world. Today, it ranks around 70th. More and more of its citizens are experiencing poverty in the latest round of debilitating inflation as the peso plummets in value. But a dramatic turnaround may be in the offing. In the recent national presidential primary, a candidate, Javier Malay, stunned everyone by getting more votes than either of the two establishment candidates. A runoff is coming in October. Malay's platform is an eye-opener. He wants to abolish Argentina's central bank and replace the peso with the U.S. dollar. He advocates massive tax cuts for this grossly overtaxed economy. He's proposing to take a chainsaw to government spending and slash the bloated bureaucracies. Such drastic surgery is needed to get this beleaguered country on the road to sound free market prosperity. Argentina is blessed with abundant natural resources and rich agricultural lands. It has an educated population. There's no reason why it can't rapidly become a stellar economic success story. Such an achievement would be a model, a badly needed one, for a continent falling more and more under the sway of far-left, increasingly dictatorial governments. After the 1920s, Argentina became cursed with a lethal brew of fascistic nationalism and socialism that has held sway to this day. All the previous liberal institutions were destroyed. Malay himself held such views as a young man, but as he observed the awful results of this state of affairs, he began looking for alternatives. He read free market works of such noted economists as Ludwig von Mises. He came to a profound understanding that capitalism has been the best layer of poverty in human history. He has even named his dogs after free market economists. Milton, for instance, got his name from Milton Friedman. Malay impishly won't comb his hair after a shower, letting the invisible hand, as he puts it, do it instead. Although a political outsider who was a first-term member of Argentina's Chamber of Deputies, Malay decided to make the case for a radical free market antidote to a very troubled nation as the candidate of the Libertarian Party. More and more voters are responding positively. Of course, the political establishment is appalled. So is much of the international media that portrays him as a far-right demagogue. The real demagogues are all those Argentinian leaders who brought the country to its sorry state, primarily General Juan Perón, who first seized power in the 1940s. Perón was an open admirer of Italy's fascist dictator Benito Mussolini and made Argentina a haven for Nazi war criminals after World War II. Let us hope Malay can make Argentina proud and prosperous again. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.